going to learn about the aggregate function in SQL. Myself, Dr. Dhampal Singh, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, JIS College of So, what is the aggregate function in SQL? We have to know that. So, first, if you use the aggregate function, you have to summarize the large volume of the data. What is the meaning of this one? So, here I can give the example. Suppose in the semester we are giving the marks and every semester we are getting the marks like this. So at the end of the four year, what I can what I can say that maximum we have read the 40 subjects and every subject I got the mark. But, but at the end in certificate they mentioned the DGP degree grade point average. So here degree grade point average is the summation or aggregate of the your whole mark. So what is the benefit of this one? Benefit of this one, we are able to see that uh, what is the ultimate output based on the your continuous performance. So same thing, same type of things we can need in SQL. We need in your any uh, place of the real life. So that is the need of the aggregate function. If somebody asks, then we can say that by using the aggregate function helps to summarize the large volume of the data, large volume of the your data there. The function can produce a single value for an entire group or a table. How suppose if I want to know that what is the average marks of the class there. So here maximum 1000 student may be possible that. We are getting the single value of marks. So I can give the inference that average marks of this particular class is the this one. Similarly, if I say that the what is the average rate of person died due to the COVID-19, they easily calculate it. So we know that if this average is greater than earlier one, so situation is not been under control, we will take some other action. So we can say that the this type of things will be required in real life. So in database, we have to keep this type of facility. Otherwise, it is not possible to do. So this function can produce a single value for entire group of data. Also, aggregate function, they operate on set of row and return result based on the group of row. Okay, so suppose if I ask that, find the average salary of the CSE department of JIS College of Engineering. So here what I can say that many departments are there, I, but I want to know that what is the average salary of the faculty in CS department. I can also go in this to find the total salary department wide in JS College of Engineering. I can go for the service. So many things in real life we require the query that you have to solve. So aggregate function concept is required there. Now you can see here from the table. They are the list of the aggregate functions are there. They are the aggregate function lists are already given. So question is that, how we can do it? So what are the aggregate functions are here? You can say these are the five functions, count, sum, average, max, or mean. So in subsequent slide, we are able to know that, well, what is the how we can use the this. Now count. <clears throat> so you can say count means we know that the uh, how many things are there counted. So I know that I can count five things are there. So count is the same thing we are doing in SQL. There. Sometimes I ask that wow, how many students present in the student table and how I can do it. So at that place I can use the count. Count means whatever the numbers of two are present there, it will be with the value of that. If I want to know how many users in Facebook there, so I can apply the count there if all the data is stored in single place. How many, what are the population, how many person died due to COVID-19? You can count from the table where died per person list are there, you can find. So I mean how many are recovered from the COVID-19? I can using the count, I can find it. So count is a very useful that in different different way we can use the count. Here we can see. 
first the count function retain the number of row that is the number of row in table satisfying the criteria in the where clause there in set of number of row or none null column below there so syntax is that you can see count we have to mention star star means it is saying that we are taking all the table row there okay not the single one column two column it means i am taking all the columns so by default it will be give the distinct one so i can write in count a star means we have to perform the how many row are present in a particular table now you can see this example select count bracket star from product master so here what i am saying that i have mentioned how many table exists in a product master table just give me the answer so i can write this command if you want to specify something like the count with where example is that select count star from product master same where rate is greater than equal to 20 so in product master table there is also some field like rate where 30 40 50 60 is there so here it is specifying that i have to select the those row which count which rate is greater than 20 so it may be possible that the there is the out of 100 row 20 row or 30 row belongs where rate is greater than 20 so count will be display only 30 below like 30 not the 100 but if, if i use here if product master have 100 row there so count will be give the below 100 but if i give this greater than 20 and assume that this rate greater than and equal to 20 only uh, 30 value get 20 value exist so this uh, command this uh, sql uh, statement will be query statement will be executed so it will give only the 30 but here it will give the count with the distinct so here i can mention the select count distinct company from the product market it may be the some company name or duplicate because the company not the primary key it may be possible that we are able to get the some company name in duplicate similarly suppose suppose if i use the some uh, customer have the more than one four number so i can input the value there so this type if you want to find the distinct so i can use the select count distinct from the product mask count is also in the group by so here i will give the some idea about the group by there group by is saying that suppose <coughs> i want to i have given the example many departments in gas college are present there i want to find the how many persons yeah how many persons are present in each department how many faculty are present in each department so how we can do it so i can write in this so i can use the group by to go for the department by within the department how many are there i can easily find so here you can use the select company count star from the product master group by the company the company may suppose a b c x y z like pepsi coca cola amazon big basket gopas many companies they are there so i think that i want to find that how many exist in coca how many employees are there in amazon how many employees are there means how many rows are there in the your big basket how many employees so by using this command we are able to count with the having it suppose sometime i want to know that suppose many companies many like uh, persons exist in company but i want to concentrate about the those company where the employee number is greater than 100 the employee number is greater than so how can right so here with the group by we have to use the having so we have to write in this way select company count from the product master group by company Having count star greater than, so here it will be saying that the, we are finding the company there. Within the company, how many rows are there according to company? But we have selected only those company where the count means the number of company implies greater than. So that type of things we have to find. So that is the use of the count in different variety. Okay. now the after the count we are, we can go for the summation so for summation is again aggregate function that return the sum of all selected column so obviously we know that when you want to perform the summation there so we know that the sum integer value will be there 
otherwise it's very hard to perform. So yes, summation we can do that different way in the different parameters we can do. Like summation simple way says I want to find the total cost of the product master table. I can write the select sum cost from the product master table. I can easily get. Similarly, if I want to use the where clause means I want to find the summation, but the summation is greater than to the your quantity is greater than three, only that product's cost I want to find. I can write select sum same as the from product master where quantity is greater than three means here. Which of the I have to select only that cost where the quantity is greater than. So I know that quantity one there is some cost, quantity two there is some quantity five there is also cost, quantity three there is also cost. So by using this, if I eager to find only the summation of that quantity which is greater than three, so I can use this. Similarly, group by quantity may be the group by according to company quantity supplied by the company. Again, I can use in this way select some cost from product master where quantity greater than three group by the company. Means different different company have supplied supply the different type of quantity within the company. Uh, we want to select the total cost for according to company where where the they have supplied the more than three quantities. So I can write the summation in this way. Too. Similarly, having is also there. Select company summation of cost from the product master means I want to select the company and total cost of the product from the product master table. Here you can give the data means the summation of cost according to company name. But here we have to select only those company where the total cost is greater than one seventy four. So same as the previous year we have done that where the having count greater than two so here we are doing the same. So summation we can also perform in this way. Now the average. Average we know that the average function calculate the average value of column of numeric type. It returns the average of all non-value pairs. Okay, so here again the syntax is same. Select average cost of their from product master. Similarly, for the having we can use in this way. If I also do by we can use in this way. The example is the same, select just like the sum is. Similarly, the max function we can use. So here it will be the in aggregate function SQL max is used to find the maximum value or highest value of certain column or expression. This function is useful to determine the largest of all selected value of a column. So simple here in product master. Suppose the expression in this way. In product master there, suppose we have different type of it. I want to find that which rate is highest. Rate. There are many cities there, many cities we are saying the code in anti rates are there. I want to find that which city we are facing the maximum code in anti So we can use it. So we can use the this case there. Okay. So here again, we can use the having, we can use the group by. Here I can also same as the summation, I can find the maximum rate from the product company group by company. Here, what is the meaning that I want to find that the, according to company which one is the maximum rate? Suppose company a maximum rate is 130, company two maximum rate is 150, company three maximum rate 130. So if I use up to this, I can get the rate maximum rate of the company by. If I write in this way, here it will be a selected post company which maximum rate is. See that I can find only the those company where the maximum rate is the your thirty percent. So this type of things is exist there. So here we can say that so different different function have the different type of thing. here we can if I use up to this I can only find the company name of according to company like A B C. A, B, B company there. Suppose it have the maximum rate is the 150. It will be this way 150. B have the suppose company which maximum rate is 130. It will be this way 130. It have the suppose one maximum rate like 120. It will be this way. Many dates are there. 
but 150, 130, 120 highest of the ABPC. So it would be stay in this way. So that is the meaning of the even max. Now here mean function is the similar same similar thing. So this function is used to find the minimum value or lowest value of the column or expression. The function is useful to determine the smallest of all selected value of the column. In earlier case, we what we have seen that the largest. So what here we are able to see that the, the smallest. Okay, so similar function. So here it will be the mean rate, not the max. Okay. Here it will be the mean rate of the addition from product. Now, similarly, it is a mean rate from the baseline, less than 10. Okay. So this is the part we have discussed. Now we can also discuss the null value there. Can also discuss the thing according to null value. So here I will go for the one more part. So here, so uh, we can see we are going for the second part of the this lecture. Second part of this lecture is. Null values. Now you can see that the semantics rules are done on value there. Okay. So in this part, we are going to see the null value there. So recall the possible meanings of the null value. We have to know that. So here unknown value. What is the meaning of null value? Unknown value, un unavailable or withdrawal value, not applicable attribute. So these are the known as the even null value. So here, each stored null value incorporable to every other stored value. Even other value also null. So here you can see that if I say that unknown equal to five, so your answer will be the unknown. Unknown is equal to unknown. The answer answer is the unknown. So comparison involving the unknown value are neither true or nor false. Okay. So SQL use the three value of the logic here. We can see. Here rules is there. There are different type of combination: true, false, unknown, true, false. Unknown. Now you can see, true with the true and operation, I can say it will be the true. true with the false and operation like one zero, but true with the unknown always unknown. False same thing: false, false, false. Every case it will be the false, even with the unknown. Unknown with this case is the unknown. Unknown with the false already know that false with the unknown false will be the false. Unknown with the Unknown with the unknown is unknown. If I go for the all operations, so I can get the same thing. True with the true, true. True with the false is the true. True with the unknown is the true. Because any cases may be possible, so we have to consider both. False, true with the true. False, false with the false. Because both are the zero, zero, opposite will be zero. False with unknown is the unknown. Similarly, here, unknown with the true, true. Unknown with the false unknown, unknown with the unknown. So in not case, true not means if it is one, not is the zero. If it is zero, it not is one. But unknown not is always the unknown. 
So similarly, any operation involving an unknown value produces an unknown value for the result. Unknown plus five is a zero. Okay, so these are the rules we have to know the three very logic here. Now evaluating the your pair clauses, how you can perform. So recall the pair clauses evalu evaluate each tuple in turn and return only those for which the condition evaluate the true. So here tuple that evaluate the false and unknown are rejected here in case of the proof. So cannot use the where phone equal to null there. Even this condition, if I want to use there, it will be might not return all the student tuple there because here condition is greater than 80 and not age is less, greater than. So here it will be the some difficult. You can try in the computer to do it. Okay. Each null you can also use some cases. So we have to find that whether this tuple is not because I have given the social society number, so in foreign it can use as just like the card. <coughs> so I can check it. F name, last name, imply, and also where the accessory is not is null. You have to check this one. It gives the name of the employee who does not have the supervisor. If I use the query number one, so I can use the this is a super assessment is null. Means the supervisor is the not there. Super assessment means the ERP is saying the supervisor is not is null is there. So I want to find this thing because I am entering that suppose it may be possible that. <coughs> Some student had not chosen the elective like robotics. It will be maybe the null there. So I want to find the student who are not chosen the elective subject as the robotics. So I can do it. In school, you can do it this way. When null are ignored, you can see the example there. Consider aggregate, aggregating value for budget in the following maximum budget, some budget, every budget we have just discussed that what is the meaning. The max function, summation function, and average function. So, not null value in the tuple, ignore for the aggregate, even for count there. Only no null value include in the aggregation there. Means if any nulls are there, exist, so it will be not executed. So, see this example here. Select count is there, means I have to find the how many counts are there. Again, count the budget, average, also gross minus the budget, is saying that the from the film where the gener is the your gener is the comedy. So I want to find the how many comedies are there budget of the comedy and also the average gross minus budget average income of the your comedies. The first one all comedies count for the first aggregation. Here it will be say that how many comedies are exist. It will be give like 15. Only comedy with non value budget count with the second aggregation. It will be count that the non non value. Okay. So, or whatever the value I got, like the comedy 19 mixture, after the 19, I have to calculate the budget of that. This part is saying that only comedy with no null budget and no null gross included in part. Means here, I have to find the difference so I can choose in this way. Average means the gross budget of the this gross means the we have done. Income and then the budget. So we are to finding the income, average income of the family. So in this way, we have to apply the null function. So here it will be give the no, no null value. This no null value use here. After that, this null value use from gross minus whatever the budget I got. Okay, so this way we have to apply the sometimes where the nulls are ignored there. Here we are not taking the only no null value included in aggregation. No null value is allowed. So keep in mind that in that aggregate function, we are not using the null value, we are using the only the whole non, non null value. Okay. When all null are treated as equal there, you can see in this part, group by budget form separate group of all tuple with null value in budget there. So grouping and set operation treat all null as the same value there. You can see this here. A B null A B C so here A B null null means I can say this is a null. A B A B common D null, so I can say null. So A B null from B I am getting because C is null so composing this is null also. A B is null. Even D is compared to become the null, so A B D null. What is the equal value A B null there? So in this way, if I write the select tenor and the budget from the 
selecting where gross is greater than this. Union select and budget was selecting where year is greater than this. So here from these two tables, I can get the similar two and duplicate element with the select list. The duplicate value may be possible that year 2000 gross income is this one, I can get this type of movie. But here, what we are doing that we have used the select testing there, so it will be removed the null value. So null value also finally order by. So null value can also in order by. Order by may show the data in ascending and descending order. If by default order by, if you write in the SQL, it will show the data in a descending order. You can also write ascending and descending. So null is uh, sorted together, but sort order with respect to the order value of increment With respect to the asking for the the null is also sought according to that. So null in SQL DDL command we can use. Already I mentioned some cases there. Primary key declare as neighbor null, but in some cases in foreign key we can use the null value there. The primary key we never use the. Also by using the check constant we can check that whether the <coughs> this particular value is a null. So this type of things already exist. Now, in case of join operator, we can also use the null thing. So here, I in the previous class, I have discussed that there are different types of joining, like the natural join, left join, right join. We have used them. So in case of join here, mainly we are targeting that the this is the natural join. I can say that what are the values are common. Which is matching, it will be displayed. Those who are not matching, it will be not displayed. So this is the natural join here. Now you can go for the here left join. So these two tables are there. Which one is the common here? You can see if I say customer ID is the of this one is the part of this one. So this customer ID is the foreign key and this is the primary key. Okay. So you can see whatever the value present here. Why so what is this is a primary key? You can see the example. This is the primary key. So primary key never null. Okay. Primary key never null there. You can see. But this is the foreign key of this second key here. Here we can see the null. So here you can give the clear example. Primary key never null, but foreign key may be the null. So here, whatever the value present, you can see. C1122. That must be this there. 1697. That must be this. 1205. That must be this. It may be possible some value here that not present here, but it is possible. Whatever the value present here, that must be present. So this is the parent, this is the child. Without the parent, child is not present. So here it may be possible some parent not have the child. Huh? But uh, it may be possible, so here it will be a picture, but here it is not. If any child must have parent. So here if I perform the left outer then so you know the left outer means all value of this one will be displayed and the common value of this table will be displayed here. So if I perform this one. You can see one, two, three, four, five rows will be there. You know the five row will be the your customer, customer ID, sales equals to customer ID. So one, two, zero, five, one, two, three, four, four will be common. One, two, three, four. After that, you can say two, one, three, four is not exist. Of course, this field I can store the value, but sales ID and date. And the sales customer ID will specify that. So here we have to put the non 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 because two one three four this three field is not exist. Okay, so I can put non non. So only three nine eight two this three field is not exist. So I can put non 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 here. So this is a left outer joint. If I go for the right outer joint, similarly whatever the value present here, it will be show the data. Suppose zero zero, so it will show zero zero twenty three December X X. Null here, null here, null here, null here. So in the fourth row, this one, fifth row, three column have the value remaining or not. You can see here. Okay. So this is the meaning of the null in join operation. You can also perform. So what is the nature of this null value? We can see that null value need careful consideration. Most of the are non intolerant. We have seen that. Some query must use is not or null to operate correctly. Aggregate ignores null. Partition and set operation keep all null as the equal. Check constant are 
null tolerant include not null for column declaration where appropriate recall required for primary key if the primary key value will be the never null but point is the same and we have performed the join operation like left right pull or mutual join to get to see that where i can put the null where it is not so this is the case so thank you my dear student for your patience you should have shown here thank you for your support